Revenge films. I live with my son, Ben, my mother-in-law, and my husband. I'm so sorry we have to live with my mom because of our whim. It's fine. There's nothing we can do about it. She's lonely because your father passed away. A year ago, ever since my father-in-law passed away and my mother-in-law was left alone, I'm lonely when I'm alone. I want to live with you, she continued to say. At first, I was hesitant, but I thought it would be hard for her to be alone. I talked it out with my husband, and we decided to live with her. However, once we started living together, her attitude changed dramatically. Are you telling me that I should eat unsavory food again? You're really bad at cooking. Then my son said, Mom's cooking is delicious. Grandma's cooking is a hundred times delicious. Well then, Mom, you can cook whatever you want. Huh? Are you saying that you won't cook for me? <laughs> should I tell the neighbors that you are discriminating against your mother-in-law? You're a very cold wife. N no. I just thought if you don't like my cooking, then huh, maybe I should probably eat cup ramen alone. Because my daughter-in-law can't cook, I can't eat a proper meal. What a pity. My mother-in-law kept on teasing me every day. My son watched the whole scene, so when I arrived home, Hey, Dad, today, Mom and Grandma? Then my husband got angry and said, Mom, did you say something rude to Tiffany again? If you say that again, I won't feed you. Because with that prosthetic left arm, she probably can't cook delicious food. Mom, there are things that you can and cannot say. My left arm is prosthetic. When I was in grade school, I got into a car accident. My life was saved, but I lost my arm. Maybe my mother-in-law doesn't like my left arm, or she doesn't like me at all. Ever since she started living with us, she kept on complaining. Hey, Tiffany. Yes, what is it? What is this way of hanging clothes? They're very crumpled. It doesn't look like a human being hung it. That's not true. It was hung with a lot of effort. With a lot of effort? Well, you don't have an arm, so maybe that's why it's so crumpled. Um, the one who hung these clothes is... I'm home! Then Ben, who went out to buy juice at the vending machine outside, came home. You came just in time, Ben. Look at these crumpled clothes. They're not properly hung, aren't they? Ben, that's not true. I did my best and hung those clothes. I can't believe you said they're crumpled. Huh? You're the one who hung these clothes? I hate you, Grandma. <laughs> ben cried and went upstairs. It's your fault. Ben hates me now. I don't think it's my fault. Huh? You don't have arms, and you also don't have a heart. Unbelievable. Days like this continued, and I was sick and tired of it. One day, during dinner... This weekend, I'll be going out on a company trip, so take care of the house, okay? I see. It's that time of year. Where will it be again? It'll be Hokkaido this year. That's nice. I want to go too. Next time, let's have a family trip there and eat a lot of crabs. Your hands will be cut by the crab scissors! It'll be fine. Crabs are delicious. When we were happily chatting, my mother-in-law said, Don't skip housework just because my son won't be around. Yes, of course. Why are you looking down on her? You're the one who begged to live with us, so it's normal that you help Tiffany out. <laughs> All I need is to help out, right? Just because I'm not around doesn't mean you can say anything rude to Tiffany, or else I'll force you out. I won't do anything like that. Then the weekend came and my husband went on a company trip. I'll be off now. I'll buy a delicious souvenir, okay? Have a safe trip, Dad. Buy a lot of souvenirs, okay? Goodbye, love. Have a safe trip. Then our life without my husband started. On the first day, my mother-in-law kept my husband's promise and helped with chores, but the second day, she lost her temper out of nowhere while washing dishes. I really think that I'm not supposed to be doing housework. You're the housewife. You should be doing all this. Well, you don't have to do it if you don't want to do it. Okay, then I'll help. Why do I have to live with you in the first place? Get out of this house. You make me sick. Um, weren't you the one who said that you're lonely because you're alone, so you want to live with us? If you'll say that, why don't you get out? This is our house. What did you say? You're living without a care in the world using my son's earnings. Yes, because he's my husband. You're not needed. This house belongs to my son. That's why, as his mother, I have authority. I hate you, Grandma, for saying things like that. What are you both saying? 
I've had enough. It's that ugly prosthetic arm's fault, she said and grabbed my prosthetic arm by force. Please stop. Give it back. That's mom's arm. Give it back. Huh, this ugly thing. I'll do this. She held out my prosthetic arm and tried to slam it against the wall. Then, when Ben tried to stop her, it hit his face and Ben collapsed. Ah! I quickly held him in my arms. Good thing he had only a slight wound on his forehead. My prosthetic arm was broken and my mother-in-law stomped on it. This thing, this thing. And my prosthetic arm broke even more. Looking at that, my son broke free from my arms and yelled, what are you doing with my mom's arm? And held it in his arms. What are you doing? What? Do you have any complaints? Ben, give that ugly prosthetic arm to grandma. I'll throw it away. I won't let you do that. You need to be punished. Ben, where are you going? Then Ben went outside. I wonder what he's up to. My mother-in-law and I followed him outside. Everyone, listen. Grandma tried to break my mom's arm and stomped on it. Ben, please stop it. Ben ignored my mother-in-law and continued to shout. Then the neighbors crowded up to see what was happening. Grandma is always bullying my mom. That's why I'm going to punish my grandma. It's just a misunderstanding. Ben, please shut up. Then Ben broke free from my mother-in-law's arms and ran away. He arrived at the police station. The police were shocked when a child entered and asked, What's wrong? Mr. Police, my grandma is doing bad stuff to my mom. Grandma broke this too. I followed Ben and arrived at the police station. The police saw my left arm and understood the situation. Your grandma did this? Actually, yes. Then my mother-in-law arrived at the police station too, out of breath. No, it's all a lie. This kid tells lies. No, I'm telling you the truth. Grandma is always bullying mom. She forcibly took mom's arm and stomped on it. Then the police, who had been looking at Ben with kind eyes, glared at my mother-in-law. Grandmother, I would like to hear about what's going on. It's a misunderstanding, just a misunderstanding. Mother, your prosthetic arm was grabbed by the grandmother and stomped on, right? Yes, that's right. Were you hurt because of that? It's only light, but my mother-in-law's nail scratched me when we were quarreling. What's more is that my son tried to stop us and got hit on his face. Thank God it was only a scratch. I see. What's wrong with that? It was only a scratch. You're charged with injury and property damage. Huh? I just broke her prosthetic arm. You're overreacting. I'm not overreacting at all. This little kid came to the police station to help his mother. W wait! Then my mother-in-law was brought to the back. Then, when the police said to Ben, Do your best, little guy. Yes! He threw his mother's stuff to the door and escorted her out. She stayed near our door for a while and knocked and shouted, Please, open the door! I was wrong! But we ignored her completely. The neighbors looked at her coldly, and she went missing after that. The police told me, too, that my son, who saved me, is a real hero. How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more.